thought the show was fantastic. I'm a little bit um, blown away by it, really. Oh, I'm completely overcome. My breath was taken away by the, the beauty of the writing and the, the beauty of the playing of it. I think it's really beautifully done, and it's about things that you don't see very often in the theatre. It was so funny and poignant how it dealt with death. I don't think anyone would watch it and not be moved by it. I think anyone could come along. I'd recommend it to everybody because it's funny, moving and interesting. And can you ask for anything more? I can't. Something really serious is being said uh, and, and uh, important and, uh, and yet it's hugely entertaining. Killing Time uh, came about because Bridget, uh, who's a fantastic cellist, wrote a piece of music called Heart Time and her daughter Zoe uh, heard this piece of music and wrote uh, the play inspired by this piece of music. I mean, I was staggered by the part because it's one of the best parts I've ever had. And I love the fact it's a combination of being... It's my favourite thing, really, which is when it's sad, but it's very funny. That's my favourite sort of thing. And that's what this one does. We want to entertain people, but we do want to provoke thought as well. Give if it provokes one. things and inspires something else or you think about things in a different way then that's certainly why I've always written from that being inspired by other things. This was inspired by a piece of music and I, I love that process of one thing bouncing off another to, to go to the next thing. When you get older, particularly as a woman, you still have the same feelings, the same thoughts, the same desires, hopefully with a bit more wisdom than when you were in your 30s, your 40s or even your 50s. And to see it on stage so beautifully portrayed, it made my heart sing.